just closed the uh, ninth symposium on catheter ablation techniques. And uh, during these three days, many things have been approached, many new things have been approached on atrial fibrillation, catheter ablation, and on VT ablation. And Michel, I'd like to ask you, what would you take home after these three days? Um, I would say the take home message is uh, first uh, the quality of the uh, participant and the quality of the speakers. Uh, we have been very lucky to see the, probably the creme of the creme in terms of uh, AF or VT of VF mapping and ablation. And all the participants were very happy about that. Um, I will say that for AF, what is uh, uh, appearing is uh, new technology, particularly techniques of mapping from outside the heart, non-invasive body surface mapping. And this has the potential to revolutionize uh, our field, something we have not seen since 10 years, since the beginning of the non-invasive uh, mapping, in, since uh, 10 years, uh, since the arrival of the electroanatomical mapping techniques. And uh, in AFIB, we have seen an uh, unprecedented view of uh, the wave active source and passive wave uh, evolving during AF that may uh, allow us to target uh, persistent or paroxysmal AFib with a much more clever way than we were doing in the past. And I've been struck for VT uh, by also the quality of the presentation and the interest of the participant. There were some, most of them were coming to see AFib and they have been impressed by the, the, the new insight that uh, we can now learn and uh, map in our patient with ventricular tachycardia. I agree with that and I think that uh, Michel is modest because the non-invasive approach with the inside system was probably the top of the sessions and everybody was wow. Somebody said <laughs> wow. I have quoted that and it was really impressive. And uh, as you uh, have mentioned, I have also been impressed not only by the development of the technology uh, in eye fibrillation, but also the development in technology and the interest of many people in VTAC ablation. We always inserted the VTAC ablation since the very beginning, but more and more it seemed to interest people. And the session were very full. And uh, I talk with people that, that give a lot of interest to VT catheter ablation. And the other side, we didn't forget the education side with technicians, nurses, and young uh, electrophysiologists. And also, uh, we had that uh, very interesting practical uh, workshops, and I've, be, I've seen some of them uh, dedicated to the young electrophysiologists and the RITAC, which is an European group of young electrophysiologists has managed, has done a very good job. So, a mixture of cream of the cream, as you said, a mixture of education, and I think that we can say that uh, these three days were very rich for everybody. Yeah, and um, we hope that in two years we will see still more participants uh, from the industry and from our uh, uh, electrophysiology community in Paris. Thank you. Thank you.